Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle's new clothes. The pink dress or the blue dress? Mummy, I can't decide. The pink one looks nice on you, Holly. But what about me? Green or yellow or turquoise? Ben, what do you think? Um, maybe the pink one for you and the greeny blue one for your mum. Green, blue, yellow, purple? What's all this fuss about? King and Queen Marigold are coming to visit today, remember? <sighs> oh, yes. They are very fashionable and I don't want them to think we look scruffy. Who looks scruffy? You look scruffy. Do I? Yes, Daddy. Hmm. What do you think, Ben? Man to man. Do I look scruffy? Uh, maybe you could be a tiny bit smarter. That is why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes. Hmm. And you must have a bath. OK. The elf tailor. That's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified tailor. Oh, I see. Carry on, then. I'm off to have a bath. But hurry up. Our guests will be here soon. Uh, King Thistle's new clothes, Your Majesty. Ooh, lovely. But is this fashionable? This is a classic cut, made from the finest woolen fabrics, Your Majesty. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, please, don't prod it, Nanny Plum. It's a very delicate fabric, which means you must not clean it with magic. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bye. Goodbye. Can you see that speck of dirt there, Holly? I can't see anything, Mummy. Nanny Plum, can you see that speck of dirt? Where? There? No. There. <gasps> oh. Oh, dear. Mummy, you've made Daddy's new clothes dirty. So I have. And King and Queen Marigold will be here soon. Nanny, have you got time to clean it? Leave it with me, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum? Can Ben and I help you? Of course. Hmm, that's a fair old stain. How are we going to clean it? Um... The elf tailor said we shouldn't use magic. That's all right. We'll just throw it in the washing machine. But the elf tailor said it was very delicate. What does an elf know about washing clothes? He makes them. He might make clothes, but he hasn't washed as many as I have. We'll need lots of soap powder. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Nothing clothes like better than a good, hot, soapy wash. You know, as we're doing a wash, we should clean the king's old clothes as well. His scruffy clothes? Yes. OK. La 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 Daddy! Yes? We're going to wash all your clothes. OK! Shoes and crown too, Nanny. Why not? Then everything will be clean. La 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 You have a clothes, Nanny. Fantastic. In they go. There. Now we let the washing machine do all the work. 
it's all very clever and scientific. What's it doing? That's the first wash cycle. Now what's it doing? It's rinsing all the soap out. It's very clever. <laughs> Finished! Yes. Now let's see if all that soap got that stain out. Oh, Daddy's crown is a bit bent. And his shoes are all soggy. Oh dear. Were the king's clothes always this small? <gasps> They've shrunk! Nanny Plum, are the king's clothes clean? That's Mummy. Uh, nearly ready, Your Majesty. Nanny, what are we going to do? Maybe when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny tiny gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! <coughs> <coughs> ah! Nanny Plum, quick, give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? <laughs> and what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes. But they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. Ah, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. Well, what are we going to do now? Uh, um, mm. We can make magic clothes. Nanny, can you do that? If you insist, Queen Thistle, but magic clothes can be a bit tricky. Hello, anyone there? They're here! Oh. Just make the magic clothes, Nanny. I'll go and see you to our guests. As you wish, Your Majesty. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Carrots! Now, we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm. What can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly. You remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello. And this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes. Nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. <laughs> we were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <gasps> oh, I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius. Self-transforming clothes? I would 
never thought of that. And you say that you don't think about what you wear. <laughs> you know more about fashion than we ever could. Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, well, uh... Now, tell me, have you ever considered teaching fashion? Oh. <laughs> ah, Danny Plum, could you make us something for dinner, please? Of course, Your Majesty. I can make you anything you like, as long as you don't want carrots, tomatoes or lemons. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Elf School. Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis per Ennius. <sighs> Bellis per Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. <sighs> oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> but I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> We're going, going to, to elf school. school. We're going, going to elf school. school. We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> Come on, elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh! Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, wise old elf. <clears throat> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr. Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A 
toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do the hat. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> No, wise old elf, not me. Uh, uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> mm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm. 
Maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. There, that should do it. do it the elf way. Yes, Holly, I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> now, Holly, here's your wand back. Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Royal Golf Course. The Royal Golf Course. It is simple, really. To play golf, you just hit the ball into the hole. There. Is that it? It's a bit boring. It would be more fun if we had little hills to hit the ball up and down. Knocking your ball up hills and around corners is called Crazy Golf. That sounds great. Please, Daddy, can we play Crazy Golf? We are playing normal golf. Whoa! Wow! Where did these hills come from? Daddy must have magicked them. Thanks, Daddy. I didn't magic these hills. Then who did? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Wise old elf. Good morning, King Thistle. Who made these hills on my golf course? A mole, your majesty. Well, get rid of it. We've been trying to chase it away all morning, your majesty. Don't you know how to get rid of moles, wise old elf? Uh, no. Then who does? Nanny Plum. She can talk to it. She speaks all animal languages. Of course. Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty. Ah, Nanny Plum. You talk to animals, don't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Then can you tell this mole to leave my golf course? Uh, no, Your Majesty. What? I can't speak mole. It's one of the more difficult animal languages, along with aardvark. But can't you use magic to get rid of the mole? There is one magical method to get rid of moles, but unfortunately, it uses a gnome. What's that? A gnome, Your Majesty, is a sort of elf with a big tummy. What? Gnomes are nothing like elves. They eat too much, talk too much, and never do any work. I don't care what you use, just get rid of that mole. OK, I'll fetch us a gnome. Where am I? Hello, Mr Gnome. I've called you here to get rid of some moles. It will be my pleasure. I like trees, they're not like peas. Custard creams or goo. I'll sing my song and strum along with a fold de do de do Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Gnome. How much do I owe you? 
Oh, I'm not finished yet, Your Majesty. If I go now, the mole will come back. What? Then you must stay, as long as it takes. Of course. Getting rid of moles uses a lot of energy. And my tummy is very empty. Nanny Plum, get this gnome some food. Very well, Your Majesty. A sack of cheese sandwiches with a bucket of tea. I say, you are hungry. I will also need some workers. Absolutely. Wise old elf, I command you to do whatever the gnome says. As you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Not at all. Just let me know when you're finished so I can play my golf. Of course, Your Royalness. <clears throat> I am the wise old elf. I look after this royal golf course, and my knowledge of it is second to none. Can you use a shovel? Uh, yes. Good. The first job is to flatten these hills. My name's Ben. And I'm Princess Holly. But you can call me Holly. That's nice. You can call me Mr Gnome. I need a deck chair and a fishing rod. Why do you need a fishing rod? On a golf course. So I can pretend to fish. Pretend to fish? Moles don't like it when I pretend to fish. Now quick, before the mole comes back. Abracadabra cheese sandwiches. One bucket of tea. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Mr Nime needs a deck chair and a fishing rod quickly. So he can pretend to fish. Oh dear. I thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills. So, um... Goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. <laughs> What's that noise? Wise old elf, what are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend? And windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Can Holly and I help you? Oh, yes, please. Now we can fix the sails. Ah, is it dinner time already? Not really. Could you get me a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles, please? Oh, and some plastic flowers. You're going to eat plastic flowers? No, that would be silly. They go with the windmill. Ah, good work, wise old elf. Thank you. Goodbye. Finally, I will need a little bridge. What? A plastic well and a little picket fence. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. 
I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <coughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh. Custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy? Do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun! Oh, OK. What do I do? Just hit the ball through the little windmill. And into the hole! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Morning, noon and night. Seven o'clock. Time to get up. Ben, breakfast ready. Thanks, Dad. Right, Ben, let's get your hair brushed. Let's get your elf hat on. Don't forget your new watch. There, now you're ready for school. But, Mum, elf school doesn't start for ages. Can I go and see Holly? I want to show her my new watch. OK. But make sure you get to school on time. Of course I will. Elves are never late. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Phew, Mr Elf. Mornings are such hard work. I should say so. <sighs> That's the cockerel crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? <sighs> Breakfast's ready, Holly. Uh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. <sighs> And here's your crown. All done. Whoopa. Mornings are such hard work. <sighs> Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. 
I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> two. <gasps> three. It took three puffs. That means three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. <sighs> one. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to tell the time properly. Can I go to his lesson? Oh, all right. But I'm sure it won't be much fun. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, uh, good day, Nanny Plum. Can we join you? Yes, as long as you are quiet. Righty-o. Hmm, now, uh, who can tell me how we know a watch is working? We can hear it ticking. Oh, yes, Holly. Very good. You see, we fairies know all about time. But you fairies don't have watches or clocks. We have our own ways of telling the time. Hmm, I'm sure you do. Now, how do we know when to wake up in the morning? The alarm clock rings. Correct. I wake up when the cockerel cries. cock a doo doo day. Yes, I see. And how do we know when it's time to go to sleep? When the clock says it's bedtime. Yes. Correct again. I go to sleep when the owl hoots. Twitter woo! <laughs> <laughs> but without clocks, how do you know what time it is? We have dandelion clocks. Look. <gasps> One. <laughs> Have a go. <gasps> Two. And me. <gasps> three. That means three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's all fairy nonsense. <laughs> but it's fun. Fun has nothing to do with telling the time. I don't suppose you fairies can tell me what time it is now. It's noon. Ah, yes, Holly. Well done. Wow! How did you know that? Because the sun is high up in the sky. And I know it's lunchtime because my tummy is rumbling. <laughs> How silly. Excuse me. My tummy is never wrong. Oh, it is lunchtime. School is finished for today. Hooray! Holly, would you like to come over to play this afternoon? Yes. OK. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> hmm. It's almost six o'clock. Where's Holly? Hi, Ben. You're late. Fairies are always late. And I'm a fairy. <laughs> Hurry up. I've got something to show you. What's that noise? You'll see. 
Huh. Are we there yet? <gasps> Nearly! This way! Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. This is the great elf clock. Wow! The most accurate clock of all. What does accurate mean? It means it always tells the right time. Quite so, Ben. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells! The bells! Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. And the beautiful princess lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Holly. But, Daddy, the owl hasn't hooted yet. There's the owl now. And the fierce dragon ate the witch. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Ben. But, Mum, the clock hasn't chimed yet. Oh, it's chiming now. Good night, Holly. Good night, Ben. Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Gaston's Cave. Gaston's Visit. Gaston, are you coming out to play? <coughs> oh, Gaston sneezing. Mummy, Daddy, Gaston the Ladybird's caught a cold. I'm not surprised. His cave is leaking. Look! Hmm. There's a hole here. Maybe if we move that pebble over it. Good day. Good day, wise old elf. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Gaston's cave is leaking. Hmm. Leaks can be tricky. What you need is a proper builder to fix it. But where can we find a builder? I'm a builder. Really? Oh, yes. Elves are very good at building. And I'm an elf. <laughs> In that case, I command you to fix Gaston's cave. Yes, Your Majesty. A wise decision. Hmm, interesting. There seems to be water dripping in. Yes, and there's a hole up here. <laughs> that hole won't be the cause of the leak. How do you know? 
With respect, some things are best left to proper builders. So how long will it take to fix the leak? Oh, it will take a very, very long time. <laughs> and while the building work is going on, the ladybird won't be able to live here. But Gaston's got a cold. Where can he stay? Well, perhaps Gaston could stay with us. Yippee! Are you sure you know what you're doing, darling? Oh, ho, ho. of course I know what I'm doing. I'm king. <laughs> Lunch time! Oh, I'm afraid insects are not allowed inside the castle. It's all right, Nanny Plum. Daddy's invited Gaston to stay with us. Oh, very well then. Make yourself at home, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, Gaston, Ladybird. I hope he's going to learn to wipe his feet. Gaston isn't well, Nanny. <laughs> and he hasn't got anywhere to stay. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to stay with us. Don't worry, darling. Gaston will be no trouble at all. So, where is he going to sit? He can sit on this little chair. <laughs> Nanny Plum? You can speak, Ladybird. What's he saying? Gaston says this chair is too little. <gasps> no! That's the Queen's chair. <laughs> Don't fuss, Nanny Plum. The Queen doesn't mind, do you, darling? <laughs> Gaston says this chair is too hard. <clears throat> Actually, Gaston, that's my chair. <laughs> Gaston says this chair is just right. Goodness, it's like having Goldilocks to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. Yummy. Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Look, smelly welly. <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. Uh, why isn't he eating it then? Gaston says it's too cold. Uh, hello, Gaston. Daddy, I think he wants to try your food. Mm. Have a little taste, if you like, Gaston. Gaston says it's just right. It's such fun having Gaston visit us. Can he stay with us forever and ever, Daddy? Uh, maybe not forever, but he can stay until his house is mended. Oh, goody! And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle! Gaston's getting better! Wow. Splendid! And the Pixie Pound has seen a drop to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Aww. This programme is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. <laughs> Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cave. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, 
But have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Mm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? Oh, that was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. Let's go and see how those elves are getting on. Have you fixed Gaston's cave yet? Gaston really misses his home, wise old elf. Good news. We've replaced the rotting wood, plastered the ceiling... And fixed the leak? No, not yet. But I'm sure in time we'll sort it out. Have you just tried moving this pebble? <sighs> King's Thistles mended Gaston's cave. Well done, Daddy. Amazing work, Your Majesty. Have you ever thought of becoming a builder yourself? Uh, actually, no. I think I'll just stick to being king. Look, Gaston. Your cave's ready. You can go home now. <laughs> Gaston says thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. It was fun having you to stay. We'll be so sad to see you go. Gaston says he doesn't want you to be sad, so he'll come and stay with you for a bit longer. It's OK. I won't be that sad. Gaston insists, Your Majesty. Very well. Lovely. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us! <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. A trip to the seaside. There, fully wound up. Let's set off to the seaside. But, Dad, we have to wait for Princess Holly. Well, where is she? It's almost nine o'clock. dum dee dum dee doo doo dum dee Where is Holly? Relax, Mr Elf. We're on holiday. But Princess Holly's late. Fairies are always late. dum dee dum Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. I'm not too early, am I? No, Princess Holly. You're just in time. <clears throat> now we're all here. Let's go. 
We might make the seaside by lunchtime. If you want to get to the seaside quickly, I could try magicking us there. Um, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking today, Holly. Oh, sorry, Mr. Elf. You see, Holly, you're coming on an elf day trip. Elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Hop in, everyone. Seaside, here we come. Here's the timetable. One o'clock, eat lunch. Two, play in the sand. Three, tidy up. Four, leave Seaside, arriving home at 4.30 precisely. Dad, it's a holiday. Sorry, Ben. It's just that I'm not used to having a day off. You work too hard, Mr Elf. Please try and relax today. <sighs> I'll do my best, Mrs Elf. Here we are, the seaside. Yippee! The sea! And sand! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the seaside. Come on, let's have lunch. Good idea. I'm hungry. Me too. Here's our picnic basket. Ooh, I love picnic baskets. You just tell them what you want and they magic up food. <laughs> this is an elf picnic. There won't be any magic. Oh. Mrs Elf always makes a really lovely picnic. Thanks, Mr Elf. But, of course, you made the picnic this time. Didn't you make it? Uh, oh. What's wrong? We forgot to bring the picnic. We just brought an empty basket. But that's what I was saying. We fairies always take an empty basket on picnics. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh. It's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So, if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please! Hmm, I do know a spell for... Magic jelly? <gasps> no! Not magic jelly! Right. Too dangerous. Hmm, I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong? Silly, Ben. Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! Hooray! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, what shall we do next? Make sandcastles! I love making sandcastles. Hmm, what's a spell for sandcastles? Holly, you don't need a spell to make sandcastles. You fill the bucket with sand, turn it over, give it a tap, Bingo! A sandcastle! Cool! Can I have a go? <laughs> Bingo! Ho, ho, ho! We'll make an elf of you yet, Holly. Can we build a castle big enough for us to go inside? <laughs> we need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one. That's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet and you never know where they're going to step. 
Look, they've left some spades. Let's build a big sandcastle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And, and we're, we're elves. Heave ho, heave ho, dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, 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 dig. Heave ho, heave ho, over you go, over you go. Princess Holly. Would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> lift ho, lift ho. Bingo! Can we go inside? But there isn't a door. I'll soon sort that out. <laughs> There's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, I've decided I'm not Princess Holly anymore. I'm Queen Holly. And I am King Ben. <laughs> 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 my, my, it's almost home time. Oh, Dad, can't we stay in the castle a little bit longer? But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise. Oh, look, the sea is coming closer. That's great. Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh, Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Holly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Holly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No, it's too windy to fly. Uh, Holly, maybe it's time to do a little magic. Yes, I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum. One, two, three, throw! <laughs> Bit. Sun, sea and sand, put Ben and me on dry land. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done. done. It's so nice to have you back, Wand. I knew Ben would catch you. Thanks, Holly. And I knew you could magic us to safety. Yes, the rescue was a perfect mix of fairy magic and elf skill. Here's to elf skill. And here's to fairy magic. <laughs> 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 <laughs>